So, we know the parts of the guitar now, we're in tune, we know how to hold the guitar and hold the pick, and also we know how to do that comfortably, so make sure you're feeling comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and learn our first open chords. Our first open chord is going to be A minor. So let's go ahead and check that out. Our first finger is going to go on the first fret of the second string. First finger, first fret, second string. Our third finger is going to go on the second fret of the third string. Our second finger is going to go on the second fret of the fourth string. A couple of tips about doing this is to remember, use your fingertips and make sure you arch your fingers. So don't play the chord like this. You don't want to do that because then you're going to be playing the wrong notes and it's going to sound all sloppy and no good. So make sure you arch your fingers, use your fingertips, and play at the ends of the fret. Remember we said don't play on the fret, play at the end of the fret. So let's go ahead and strum our A minor chord. Your chord should sound very similar to mine, because again, we are in tune, and our fingering is the same as well. So A minor. All right, let's go ahead and move on to E minor. Start to notice some similarities between chords when we start moving further on down. It's going to help you remember them. It's going to help you get in and out of the chords a lot easier. So let's start off with our third finger going on the second fret of the fourth string. Third finger, second fret, fourth string. Let's take our second finger, and as you can tell, I'm going to go ahead and put my second finger over here above my third finger on the fifth string, second fret. So second finger, second fret of the fifth string. We're going to go ahead and strum all six strings when we do this one. So make sure yours sounds like mine. I'm strumming all of them. When we play the A minor, we're not going to play the sixth string or the fattest string. We're going to play everything from the fifth string down. And then when we move up towards the ceiling to get to the E minor, we're going to play all of them. So make sure your chords sound nice and clean. Make sure you arch your fingers, use your fingertips, and play close to the fret, but never on the fret. All right, next we're going to go ahead and show you how to play it over a backing track. And uh, let's get rolling with that. <laughs> 